what are you doing tooting for six weeks? Uh, well, we kind of anticipated that we would be uh, uh, stationary for uh, for for a good month or so. So uh, we bought a, a bit of studio gear. We bought uh, the NPC, bought the G4 uh, power book, um, bought some microphones, bought what we needed really, and uh, we've been riding beats for the last month. And uh, as for usual, you write a whole lot of rhythm tracks, a whole lot of ideas, and you keep on coming back to the good ones, the stickers. Yeah. It's like when you're testing past and throw it up against the wall, and the stuff that sticks is what you end up uh, start using the gigs, turn into songs. What is the skank, Toby? What's the secret of the skank? The, uh, it's just a pulse. It's a pulse. That's it. That's it. And you can be obvious with it, or you can be uh, a little bit discreet and uh, let it creep up on people. Eventually, the, half an hour later, they're just lost in it. They don't even know what they've been doing for the last hour. And the mouse is very dry because I haven't been to the bar for an hour. And the top's soaking in sweat. That's the fat Freddy skank anyway. I'm uh, DJ Fitchy. Uh, where that came from? Uh, so Dallas called himself Joe Dookie, I think that might have been his uh, grandfather's name or something. So I decided to go for my uh, dad's nickname, which was uh, Fitchy. Simple as that. Do you have uh, special powers in the Do I have special powers? Uh, You're the master of reality. I'm the master of reality, apparently. Yeah, I think the rest of the... Which the band tend to uh, come up with these, uh, concoct these great plans and ideas. They're really just uh, just ridiculous most of the time. And that's where I'm going to step in and just uh, do the maths, assess the situation quite promptly, and, and then uh, decide on a course of action from there. So, yeah, I'm Master of Reality. DJ Mu, aka Fitchy. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. That's what we need. Joe's so doing his washing. He's washing your shirt for tonight, bro.
everything back. I um, decided to uh, feng shui was the feng shui was not quite right. Like this. Oh, and we did. 
I discovered uh, stuff, discovered music. Touch it. Oh. Feel it. Spin it. Mm. What else is on that one? 
blue. Okay. I heard um, someone playing the room the other day. Mm. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, so Jazz and other guys were playing it. Yeah. Oh, is that a crayfish? Oh, a little crayfish. There's the crayfish. Is that you, Mia? Uh... Mia, you're on the record. Oh yeah, how are you? Look. Good to see Look. you there. How you doing? Hanging with the neighbors. Yeah, so watch your fingers. Oh, watch out, watch out. Hi, Fiona. How are you? No, not interested. Fiona, Fiona, Shirley. Hi. 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 I thought we'd come down and visit. No tears. They're not tears. It's just, um, yeah, get, get you know, something in the air. It's just something, you know, <laughs> hanging about. <laughs> something in the air playing up there. She's taking her with speed already. Congratulations, bro. Oh, you guys like to see you guys. What sort of response are you looking for? Um, it's going to be difficult to tell because it's, it's a, you know long tracks, but hopefully we'll get a bit of radio play, get people picking up on the on the artwork and the music, just sort of spread spread the name out a little bit further in London, and uh, yeah, get it get it going around the world, get the Freddie's name out there. Yeah. Because you've worked around records a lot, I mean, how special do you think this Fat Freddy's is going to be? I reckon it's it's pretty special. It's it, this is the first first block of money in a, in the house of Freddy's. I think we're gonna we're gonna have to build it up a little bit, but this is it's a good it's a good beginning. This is Nicole's recording studio. Where Nicole's going to do some spoken word. Uh, Dialogues. No. No. Stop playing that fucking game. It's time to do some fucking work. So what's the set up here, man? This is the bedroom. Caught it here. It's a bit more data. Bit more data. Data. Bit more data. Sorry, it would be more dead. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to have to be uh, so quiet in there. Otherwise, we'd have to record with headphones in there and everyone that's working. We'd have to be very quiet, but this way, yeah, it's a bit more relaxed. What are you dropping? Uh, tubs versus uh, Fat Freddy's Drop Remix. So, a bit of paid work.
Because at the moment it's quite cheeky. Yeah. We'll come back to that one. Yeah, yeah, we'll, no, no. We've got plenty of other small solid ideas to go into. Yeah, probably. Chuck the old bone in there. Bone? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Bone? Bone. We done with this today? Yeah. That'll fit in this second first three days of use today. Yeah. Just copy and paste yeah. that for the first second verse. Oh. But the recording on that. Oh, the recording's great, yeah. 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 How long does it take to, uh, it'll take 40 minutes to get the camera on the tube, eh? Yeah. 10 minutes down there. It's not that shop open for travel. <coughs> That's the city. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Don't you want to get a travel car? What do you want to know? I want to know why you keep letting Fat Freddy's crew come and jam and your little low life. Oh, I can't, there's too many of them, I can't stop them coming in, that's what it is. I try, but I can never seem to just... No, they've, they've grown on me. Ed was the first band I had, the first live band we ever had, ever, in January or something. And then uh, when this lot came over, well, you know, can't get enough of a good thing, kind of thing. When nothing goes on anywhere in London, it's DJs, it's like recorded music, it's bollocks. And this is like, we're getting roots, man, you know what I'm saying?
change my mind, rearrange. Got to keep on stepping, keep it in mind that life is for living. Life is for living. Bye. Yeah. He's in the kitchen, no food, no money, having onions for dinner, but never diss the onion, never gets any credit the poor onion, but you know, no money, no food, excuse me, I can't cook. <laughs> music that we play, I like the soulfulness of it, and um, I really enjoy playing with Dallas and and as a band supporting the songs that he improvises and also the, you know, because sometimes he'll, he'll improvise something from, from scratch and other times he'll actually, um, you know, start on a song, he'll just start uh, singing, a, singing something that he's actually worked out himself. And he'll just drop it on us out of the blue. And tooting, six weeks in tooting. Um, six weeks in tooting, and I'm enjoying, very much enjoying South London and tooting. Um, well, I am keen to, to go somewhere else now, go, go over to Berlin, and uh, I think we're going to Vienna as well. Um, but yeah, six weeks, that's half the tour, so we're doing well so far. The washing, yes, this is, these are all the clothes I brought with me on tour. Hey, that's my washing! No, no, it's got another half hour. It's got another hour to go. <laughs>
beginnings of a very busy weekend. Um, we're off to pick up uh, Warren and Dallas right now, who have been uh, enjoying the spoils of the North Sea Jazz Festival in Amsterdam. And then we're heading towards the uh, Toast Life Festival, which I'm kind of expecting to be uh, a little bit like, say, the Martin Borough Wine and Food Festival. Uh, that's this afternoon, and then we're off to uh, the Sonar Collective uh, monthly with a guest this month. Sonar Collective, of course, is our label in, uh, in Berlin. We released Midnight Marauders, and uh, uh, they sorted it out so that we could do uh, this month's uh, this, this month's gig. And tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, uh, <coughs> that's kind of the, suppose, the, big, the bigger day of uh, the weekend. Um, that's the one that we've obviously been promoting ourselves a bit more because it's kind of more our gig. Uh, that's at Cargo, also Shoreditch. Coffee, but you need about 10 more. Yeah, a few more. <laughs> These English coffees, you need about 10 of them. Is Dad coming? Not having seats in it. Do you think Dad needs to come? Or can the Freddies, shall we just say the Freddies don't even need Moo? Yeah, you do. Come on, Dad, come in. That's great to hear. Alright, thanks, man. Ciao. Ciao. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like fresh camp. Yeah. 
bridge there. There's a frenzy on the streets. Retail frenzy. So we made it here. After a very long, arduous journey, we have arrived at the bridge and tunnel where we the Fat Freddy's drop shall we play tonight. Cuba Street, London. So she went to see me. When you see this place. You dance with me. Thank you. 
It's kind of, it's the live element and the, the originality of, of the sound, um, especially when you put it in a European or UK context, you know, although there's the dub element and stuff, it's, it fits so many genres and it's getting picked up by lots of people who are into different music, not just the dub heads and stuff. And from a business side, it's, it's much easier to promote a band you can play live. Gives you so many opportunities. People, once people see them, and kind of, they kind of fall in love with the energy of the band on stage, and they're kind of sold into the whole idea just from a, a one live performance. And this is kind of invaluable, I think. Um, and last night's cargo or Sunday night's cargo was 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 a good gig. Good to hear them on that system, and we we'll look forward to the August gig as well. Yeah. What do you think the record's going to do? I, it's been hard to imagine. Um, I'm getting a better idea hearing some of the different elements that Moo's throwing into the mix now, um, some of the more electronic elements, that they can maybe help shorten the tracks. Um, I was chatting to Nicole about the length of the tracks and the length of potential album tracks, and it was kind of, you give your idea, your impression of what an album could be or should be like, and then you think of Fat Freddy's and kind of scratch your head and wonder what they're going to do. So I'm sure Moo's got some ideas and some tricks up his sleeve, so... Yeah, well, we'll have to wait and see, I think. Fell a flash, you know, other, yeah. otherwise known as Warren. He drops in and says that reggae is big in New Zealand. Is yeah. this a surprise? Yes, and I still come back to Tooting. I thought it's the roots of my reggae. Tooting feels like a little part of Jamaica <laughs> yes. in England. Yes, yes, it is a little part of Jamaica. Yeah. What do you love about Tooting then? I get, I get used to the people, and because I'm here so long. The kids that was going to school, they become my prime customer. And their children now are buying, still buying records from me. And the grandchildren are buying records from me. So they all know me. I'm not 
stranger to anybody. What does everyone in Tutin call you? How do they call me Johnny? Johnny? Yes. If we see you in the street. Johnny. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.